Honestly, yeah, it is that hard. I almost never see a man out in the wild and initially find him hot. Almost as stupid as a stupid guys. If you're liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the damn like button. Don't be a bitch. It's ninety percent bullshit, but it's entertaining. Due to copyright issues, I couldn't have the original sound. But when a fort medium ugly guy this week tells you he's making lemon pepper chicken for dinner and then asks what you're looking for on this app, even though it's literally on your profile. Yeah, I don't think this woman has seen the mirror lately. And I didn't know that was different categories of ugly. I mean, I thought ugly was just ugly. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and explain why. Have you ever thought that maybe you attract what you are? Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I find this to be very cringe. It's like a woman that makes 30K a year calling a man that makes 80K a year broke. Y'all better start hitting these women with that humble knuckle sandwich. I can understand why this man asks, what are you looking for in this app? Because most women, they put one thing on the app but they're really looking for something else. Most of these women are single mothers out here looking for a sponsor, a sucker, a simp. <laughs> Would that be you? Come on now, step up. <laughs> I know, right? I make a ton of money and I give the best blowjobs. Crazy. 304. I know I said it before, but I'm gonna have to say it again. We need to bring shame back. There was a time a woman would never, ever admit to doing 304 activities. Well, at least not broadcasting it to the world, but you get my point. But because we have women that are saying, you go girl, do you. And these simps calling these so-called Instagram models, beautiful queens, women are going to continue to act with this bad behavior because people are treating it as if it's normal i'm sick of men objectifying sexualizing catcalling what makes them feel so entitled to comment on women's bodies so you decided to make a tiktok after you've done your drugs because you look high or just cycle you ever notice when you watch these different podcasts where they have women as guests one of the things that they always brag on is about being a boss woman. I'm a boss B. I have my own business. I'm an entrepreneur. But a lot of those women fail to understand the concept of business. Now, I don't know anything about this lady in the video, but there were a lot of videos of corn stars, only fan models saying the same type of thing. How is it that you dislike and talk down on the same people that supports your so-called business? It just don't make sense. You know, it's crazy. You know, these women get up and just say to themselves, I need to get online and I need to say something. I need some attention. I promise you, if all men would come together which it's probably impossible because simps but if all men would come together and stop liking those instagram pictures stop following these instagram so-called models stop buying that only fans crap then women will learn to humble themselves and respect men for who they are and what they do to make this society a safe place for them to live honestly yeah it is that hard i almost never see a man out in the wild and initially find him hot it's a big part of why we don't approach you guys and initiate it's also why whenever men show me a picture of their love interest they're like here's what she looks like and every woman that's ever shown me a picture of a potential love interest has said he looks way better in real life if you just really listen to us and try to understand us you're going to notice that everything is making perfect sense and it's all going to start clicking you're a victim mm. Mm. Guys, don't believe what she's saying. This talk is coming from a woman that is way past her prime. So she ain't got a dog in this fight. Gentlemen, women look at you just the same as you look at a woman. One thing that really gets to me is a lot of these women, not all, but the majority of them, have this talking point about a lot of men out in public are not good looking. But yet, this is coming from someone 
that paints their face like a clown every time they go out into the public. A woman's confidence is one baby wipe away from being destroyed. If you don't believe me, watch this video. I rest my case. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Once you do your boy a favor, please smash that like button on your way out. I'm out. Peace.